Gentlemen, wow. Uh, <laughs> so glad to meet you. Um, first of all, let me congratulate you on Notice to Quit. What a funny yet, you know, deeply dis disturbing film this is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, that's fun. What, what I think, uh, that, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Deeply Simon, disturbing. Yeah, deep, or, Simon, was this, uh, how did this land in your in your mind and in your lap? Uh, well, uh, I've been in New York for, I don't know, 10, 15 years, and I've lived in a number of apartments, and I've dealt with the kind of uh, parade of, of rental agents who have kind of been pushing the, the shoebox apartments through downtown New York to me, and uh, I always felt like those guys had this amazing kind of pride and belief in themselves, and at the same time, they were kind of pushing these crappy, tiny apartments, and I... And I just, I don't know, there was a contradiction of character there that it was a little bit like they're con artists and charlatans. And that kind of was the creative wellspring for it, I guess. Yeah, no, no matter how, <laughs> like, I, I, similarly, like, you know, whenever I've been looking for an apartment, no matter how awful this apartment is, the, 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 the broker always goes, you know, I don't know, it's gonna, it's, it, you know, there's a lot, there's a list, you know, this might go tomorrow. Right, right. Yeah, there, it's that, yeah, they were always, they're pushing it and it's, you just, there's half like a snake oil salesman. Yeah, that's sure. <laughs> Uh, Michael, I have to I have to thank you for uh, the marvelous Miss Maisel. It, it is. Yes, thank. Yes, I have. <laughs> you're right in thanking me. I'm. I'm yeah. The whole, <laughs> that was my the whole show. Series, I created it. Yeah. The whole series revolved around you. Uh, <laughs> but uh, uh, your character in this, as you said, I mean, he is just lost between, you know, what he's supposed to do and what he wants to do, and uh, uh, I love the the internal conflict that he goes through. Yeah, um, and so did I, and and you know, and that's why I wanted to do this this movie so badly. I, um, it was also an opportunity uh, to be the lead in a film, which I hadn't done before. And um, you know, he's and he's obviously imperfect. And I think as an actor, that's what you want. You don't want to play somebody perfect. Um, I mean, maybe sometimes it depends on the character, but <laughs> <laughs> as long as it's the, it's the lead, you know, I'm fine with it. Yeah. But um, but no, he you know he. Yeah, it was such an interesting character, and he—he's uh, a messy father. It's like he's a messy yeah, father. Yeah. Uh, his relationship with his daughter—I hadn't really played anything like that before. Um, so this was all new to me, and uh, and I'm I'm really thankful that Simon believed in me. I was so happy to see Robert Klein. He's one of my favorite human beings, and uh, I know he plays curmudgeons very well, but uh, it, he's not really that way in person. He's. He's such a. Is, he's not. Uh, no, no, I'm kidding. No, he's so warm. Yeah, he was the best. Yeah, I, and uh, I've been watching his stand up for years. How did you get Robert Klein? Uh, well, I, I Michael uh, hooked it up. For yeah, sure. I, I, um, I had met him years prior, and uh, I have a friend who's friends with him, and so when this, when you know, we were trying to figure out who can play this this character of the father. Um, I, I don't know. It just clicked. It was like, oh, what about Robert Klein? And, and so I called yeah. up my friend and he called up him and he signed on. Wow. He did an amazing job. But, uh, you know, I know, everybody in this film did an amazing job. Yeah. And he's he you know, he's he's an older actor and and um, and he was fully prepared. He, he came in. He knew all his lines. Uh, yeah. He was a joy to work with and had so many stories. And he, he actually I, I think he really had a good time. Yeah, we had a blast. I'm glad because uh, it looked like your cast had a good time, and the and the little yeah. girl plays your daughter. Wow, she's fantastic. I know Casey Bella Suarez. Yeah, she we call her Bella. We call, we call her Bella, but yeah, she's she's amazing. Um, I mean, she was a discovery for us, and you know, we I just can be more thrilled. I mean, it's, it's a discovery for us and she, for the rest of the world. The world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I think <laughs> I think she's gonna blow up after this. Yeah. Oh, sure. I do too. I, I mean, and she's just adorable. Yeah, she is, and uh, she's and just, she's she's just a great actress. I mean, like she just I, had, yeah, you're saying the confidence. Like she just has mm -hmm. so much presence. Like for being a 10, 11 year old to get out there in front of the camera with Mike on the streets in New York on film in a time crunch and that pressure cooker. Yeah. She just step up and and know. she she really hadn't done much before this. Yeah, this was um, her so, first. This is her first kind of feature, right? Well, I mean, it yeah. was, but I mean, prior to this, she really only did uh, oh, commercials. commercials. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So this was this was a really big opportunity for her, and she she took it head on, and she, I mean, you know, I, I I've always wanted to be an actor, and I I think back on when I was ten or eleven, and I can't do what I couldn't do what she she did in this movie. 
yeah, she's just floored me, you know, and, and how deep, deep she can go. Uh, Simon, I mean, there's a different pace to doing a comedy than, than a drama, obviously. Um, do you find that there's rhythms and cadences in, in, in what you do? Do you hear music as, as you're, um, directing? Uh, yes. I will more so when I'm writing, I think. And, um, you know, the directing, I feel like you're just, you're happy just to get everybody there and on set and, and, and get the shot when you call action and cut. But, um, no, I definitely try to write with intention around that kind of pacing for comedic beats versus kind of the heavier, uh, dramatic ones. So Michael, as we're, uh, as we're winding up our, our all too short interview, uh, <laughs> What do you think audiences are going to take away from watching uh, Notice to Quit? I just want them to have a good time. Um, you know, I, I, we had a great time filming. Yeah. It was really hard, uh, but it's going to be out there on the big screen. We shot it on 35 millimeter. So, you know, that was always the goal to get it on the big screen and we're doing it. And I just want audiences to have fun because it's a fun movie. There are obviously underlying themes to it. Uh, like we talked about, yeah, you know, resilience. parenthood, resilience, yeah. you know, all that stuff. And that's great. But at the end of the day, I just want them to sit down and have a few laughs and walk out thinking like, oh, that was fun. Yeah, yeah I, I did exactly that. In fact, I was thinking that, you know, if, if Woody Allen got together with Neil Simon, th it would be this movie. Oh, yeah. Well, that's it. I'll, I'll, <laughs> <laughs> thank you. That, that's fantastic to hear. So thanks very much. Yeah, I, uh, those guys are legends. And this movie is, you know, just a heartbeat uh, about New York. It's a heartbeat about relationships. It's, it's just got all those notes in it. And I think we need that this time. We just need to laugh. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It was, that was the idea, just to yeah. feel and feel something and, you know, having a, around the family. And so you can kind of have that, that pull on you. Is that, that, was, that was everything for, for, for me, at least. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's not, you know... I, and, and and this isn't a slight to the movie, but it's not like a deep movie. It's just a good time. I, yeah, I mean, it's about family at, at its core, right? The resilience of kind of pushing on through yeah. all these different obstacles and trying to, especially in New York with the daily grind and all the push and pull with your career. And, you know, as a filmmaker, I relate a lot to Andy and the struggle of kind of showing these apartments. And ultimately what's important is, you know, at the end of the day, if you can step back and, and you know, you know, what is that? And, and for me, it, that's family. So that's where that kind of came from. And um, yeah, that's why I'm mm -hmm. really proud of I that. Gotta, I got to ask, were those apartments that you're showing, were they real apartments or did you build sets? Every single one. <laughs> those are all on location in New York City. They were designed by our uh, phenomenal production designer. We didn't have money to, to <laughs> yeah, build yeah. our own apartment. Yeah, yeah. It was, everything was real. Every, this movie was shot on all five boroughs on film. And yeah, this was not done on stage at all. The so. toilet in the middle of the living room was just... Uh... That's great. Yeah, Stephen picked up that toilet, I think, off the streets. Oh, wow. <laughs> we found I'm, it. I'm glad I he's, touched it. Yeah, yeah, he's like, I think I found a toilet. We can address it. So, uh, yeah. Um, and uh, you walking around New York, Michael, with air conditioners. Um, that yeah, also... they, they were heavy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was not method acting. That was real acting. Oh, yeah. They were, they, yeah. No, walking up the stairs with, a, with an air conditioner. Walk, I mean, yeah. I did a lot uh, that time when I had to put it under my arm. Yeah, I definitely put, we put Michael through, through a tough time. I mean, the Absolutely. character is a kind of Sisyphusian guy and that AC is meant to be kind of his rock that he's lugging around. So I, I, I uh, you know, I think he did a great job. I'm sure it probably cut into I know I did yeah, a great yeah, job. Yeah. <laughs> it's heavy. It's a heavy piece of uh, appliance. Yeah, yeah, it was. So. Well, I, I, again, I want to congratulate you on a great comedy. And, and again, it reminds me of those, those 80s and, and, and 90s kind of, comedies where um you know all hell breaks loose you know it's it's just a great time at the film at the movies thank you thank you very much thank, thank you, you and have a great day gentlemen you too. thank you thank very you. much bye-bye